Let's see what this guy wants. Corporal St. John, I've got an important assignment for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Whatever I can do to help. We sent a patrol north along Highway 97 to investigate a group of anarchists. Have you ever had a run-in with them before? Anarchists? The assholes that left those little fucking cairns all over the place? Yeah. yeah I've met them once or twice. Uh, way back in the day, I, I uh, thought they were all killed off. Evidently not. I've marked their location on your map. I'm sending you in alone in case any of our men are being held. <clears throat> yeah, I get it. I'll have a better chance of getting them out alive. Got it. The patrol commander. Sergeant Mitch Allen. Always alone. He's a personal friend of mine. Yes, sir. I'll, uh, I'll do what I can. I'm counting on you, Corporal. Dismissed. All right, well, we got a job to do. This is it. Here we go. Militia tracks. Militia tracks. Look at that. Oh, look at this. I didn't even see him. It does. It feels very trappy. That, I'm glad I saw her. That could have been very bad. I want your ear, though. You screamy fuck. Okay, let's take a look around. All these tracks. Oh, look at this. A cairn. Yep. Goddamn anarchists. This way. Gotta take a closer look. Well, that's gotta be cold. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Gotcha. Tracks lead this way. I found them. It looks like they're holed up in a mine. Mine? Are they holding hostages? Are they alive? Uh, I don't know yet, but if they are, I'll get to them, sir. Um, and if they have your friend, I'll find them. Thank you. Korea. Anarchist symbols. Gotta be the place. Mm-hmm. Someone else, someone's got a few things going on here. Yeah. Who's that? Burn, bitch! Sure, if I want to use that. How were they hiding you? A mine, another goddamn mine. Yes. So you boys thought you'd just set up camp and pick off militia supply runs? <laughs> Finally, Jesus. Mate! 
Ha! He was trying to say something. You didn't get to. like what I'm hearing. Well, he's fucking dead. Huh? Oh, what did so I shot him with something and it popped? Shit, 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 shit. You're dead, bitch. So 12 out of 14. I feel like I can get lost in here. There's that sound again. Oh, they're probably above us. Okay, this is probably the way out. You just, you just relax, buddy. Hmm. This is might be our way up too. <laughs> oh, I do not like the sound of the zombies hey, here. Hey, Sarge, you must be Mitch Allen. <laughs> Is it Connor? Mm. Thank you. Thank you, man. I th okay. I thought it was over. It's not over. Not bad. Are you uh, good to get out of here on your own? Okay. All right. Oh. Huh. Thanks, man. Yeah. Get I out. owe you my life. Go. I'm heading back. I'll tell them what you did. I swear to you. I wonder where they got some of these Just voice do actors. Job. Some of them are amazing, others like. I'll tell him what you did. Oh, Jesus! What the fuck? I'm heading back. I'll tell him what you did. Okay, I swear bad you. acting, go. Just do him a job. Fuck, which way do I gotta go? Uh, hey, where'd you go? Nothing okay. I think I'm good. If I head down this tunnel, Whew. okay. At last. Oh no, we're gonna see him get overrun. I want to see this. Oh, 
This is what it felt like. Look at their little crackheads. Yep, I'm getting out of here. Man, that is a horrifying sound. That's gotta be the way out. There we go. Was blinding. There, I see daylight. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Come here, here. Oh, fuck. Yes, that was horrifying. Captain, I uh, found your man. He should be on his way back to Diamond Lake. Good work, St. John. Now radio back. Check on him later. St. John out. Right? Holy oh. shit. Hey, Captain. Did uh, Sarge make it back okay? <laughs> Using the infirmary now. I think you make a full recovery. Thanks to you. Well, just doing my job, sir. Yes, sir. St. John out. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath. Dude, I could you check can't out. get what I need there. You'd... How do you think I would learn? Actually, I actually think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab. Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my god, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Are we going back? Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Oh, well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm. Pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh my god, if you say thank you one more time, I... Oh, finally! Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Oh, shit. Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I they're need. Gonna, they're gonna fuck this up. How's your work progressing? Good. Good, with Deke... Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I mm. heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. No, they're gonna let her. Okay. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment. I have a feeling, though, that Deke is gonna try and talk her into staying over there. Let's see what we missed on the other side. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Oh, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think Loser it makes more jail. sense now. Why? 
It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore hmm. badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for the beards and bikes. <laughs> now that you've Mention it, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. <laughs> Where is that? Where are we heading? To Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Ah, we almost flipped the bike. That's if it's still there. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problems. Oh, what are we doing here? Hey, hey, shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from. To keep anyone from what, Corporal? Ha! I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the colonel, man. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, man. Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. We're not doing nothing wrong. We're that sounds go see... serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, how's Matt going to take that? The colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Boozer and Jack! Hopefully. Oh, my God. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. True I gotta that. be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? You. Back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know, Boozer's arm got fucked up, and I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't want to, I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's that's when I really wanted to. That's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. And that's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. You no. trying to convince me or you? You haven't seen all the zombies, motherfucker. Oh, we can't go back to... We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel. Something's gonna happen. We got kicked out of Iron Mike's camp. Oh, man, look at all the snow. We still got a, we still got Skizzo to worry about. You need your help to move that out of the way. Yeah. What the hell is that? 
That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um... You could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. Hopefully. You gonna help move us or what? <laughs> yeah, sure. Sorry, I've been streaming for four hours and 48 minutes. Oh, I guess we're... Oh no. I thought I saw a laser for a second. That made me worry. Get on the bike. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Oh shit. <clears throat> we I was gonna turn that thing off. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Cloverdale! Let's see what happened to this place. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Looks like it's still working. Okay, <laughs> all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power is still on, right? Her hand is still on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron View Facility. It has been 751 days since your last login. Huh! You guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Ari's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Ari? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh my god! What is it? Nothing! It's... Food. What the hell? Look at this! There's so much food here! Sarah, this should be... It, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Put your bike oh, wow. back in. Shit, this place has everything. It's got food, it's got water, it's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said, the power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. How many people got See? zapped? Come on! Oh, Jesus! This is horrible! No wonder people don't want to live there. The birds! The burbs! They fuck off? Oh. Goddamn crows. Goddamn crows. They're infected. Yeah. It's what's made them so hyper aggressive. It makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as. Okay. What else is infected? Gophers? Come on. 
That scared the shit out of me. It was all like nice and stuff and Well there's a dead guy. There's a few dead people here. I don't know. What? Okay, this isn't ground zero like I thought it was. Gunshots? Sarah. These, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. Um, she knows something. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. So, that dude just did that shit. Okay. It's good to know. This is like Umbrella. Look, it's even got a little sign like Cloverdale, like Umbrella. It's a clover instead of an, uh, an umbrella, though. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. Of course. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Airy? Why is Airy working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? Oh, she's self-aware. Skynet, the Terminators. 